Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to the Bird Light here, coming to you straight from the not so snow land of Portugal. Well, it's sunny, but it's not so much hot, it's actually bearable now. The topic of today's video is His Royal Majesty's Lord Mayor. Made by one Lord Mayor, currently available on Game Jolt for a low, low price of whatever exactly you want to pay for it. You can get this for free, or you can name your price for the product. Which is very nice, by the way. Thank you for doing that. Anyway. Before we start, let us look at the options menu. This is it. Not going to say anything, it's a name your price game on Game Jolt. Not a lot of standards there. All we can do is you can look at the gameplay. And as always, I didn't really look into what it was. All I know is it's supposedly a city builder game. That's all I know. So let's start, shall we? Let's play. Tutorial. My good fellow, for this first task, you have to create a town of modest proportion. Time limit, 120 days. Victory conditions, population 1,000, happiness 5, prosperity 5, and culture 5. Interesting. Very in... Huh? What the... How do I move? Okay, I can move with the arrow keys. Select a tile for info. So that's sand, minus 2 food, and minus 2 happiness. Minus 2 food from farms, and minus 2 happiness from forts. Grass is ideal for all building types. Dirt is ideal for all building, building types. My mouse appears to be resetting every time I move. So I need to stop moving for my mouse to not reset. Alright. Snow is minus two food from farms. Alright, so... Grass and dirt are ideal. Sand reduces uh, food from farms and happiness from forts. And snow reduces food from farms. Now this is... Alright, so select a building to destroy. Oh, this is to create building. Oh, oh I see. Alright, so slums increases my population by 20. And plus 0, plus 1 something, plus 0, plus... What is that? I don't know what that is. Slums or cottages... Wait, no. No, no. First off, I need a weed farm, which removes 5 prosperity? Why does... Why do wheat farms reduce prosperity? Can I click it control... Uh, it escape to uh, remove the wheat farm? No. Alright, so there's no actual tutorial. I kind of have to figure it out by myself. Alright, so... I suppose I have to strike a balance between food I have to strike a balance between food, happiness, culture, and prosperity. What no 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 what that hold on. What's this on the top? Zero gold coins and one thousand supply? I don't know. Help. Oh, there we go. I know this song. I played this song. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. Can I see wheat farm farms? Berry farm. Cost is... Alright. So, villa wheat farm cost 250... Wheat farms output food, which is necessary for increasing a city's population. Placing wheat farms nearby increases their... F oh, placing multiple wheat farms nearby increases their food output by 15%. Wheat farms get a bonus when built on grass and output less food on snow, sand, tundra, and marsh. Oh, so I was correct in putting them next to one another. But now... I cannot actually... Oh, I see. So placing villas increases my... Oh, I see. I see the point. Placing villas increases my uh, population, supplies, and... I'm assuming those are supplies, or construction materials, and gold. But actually does it quite a bit... Oh, I see what it does. I see what it does. Of course, I can also get more population by using slums or cottages. But that also means that I'm going to be losing... Uh... Happiness. Oh, I get it. 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 
Interesting. So, you know, what I can do is I can just do... I can get prosperity eventually somewhere else. But now I have a lot of food here. Alright, alright. So I appear to have enough food. I have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... So I have 60 food. Okay, my population needs to increase. So, 1, 2, 3, 4... Let's put villas all around. Oh, I can use the mouse to move around too. Oh, nice. All right. There we go. That should do it. All right. So I can make a school for 500 supplies, which means I have to kind of, kind of have to wait. All right. So I have a bunch of cottages, uh, villas actually, built around weed farms. That should be good. That should be enough. Alright, so school increases my, what is that? Oh, happiness. Why does schools increase my happiness? Oh, but they increase my prosperity. Alright, so my prosperity is going up, but my happiness is going down because schools, lol, I guess. This is interesting. I like this game. I actually give it even more money. Uh, I guess. Alright, so I put down three schools. Alright. Okay, let me look. Okay, so the... Oh, I see. So the villas increase my prosperity by 0 0.1 and increase my culture by 0 0.1. And the more population I have, I'm guessing the more supplies and money I generate. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Alright. I need more population. So what I can do is I put... See, because I can try and put villas in places where I wouldn't place anything else. Such as, for instance... Sand. Because sand is basically useless for everything else. Oh, okay, I have to move uh, to that. Alright, so... My prosperity is going slightly up. My culture is on the positive. Shit. Uh, escape. I have... How many days? I think it was 100-something days? I don't know. 1,000 population, 5 happiness, 5 prosperity, and 5 culture. Alright, so... Prosperity. How can I increase? I need to increase my happiness. Huh. Why does the clinic reduce culture? Seriously. Huh. The school increases prosperity. I think it's the only thing that increases prosperity, so I kind of have to balance it out with happiness, I guess. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. I think I might have fucked up with the. I think I might. I may have fucked up with the wheat farms. I think. Ah. Uh, I can start a workshop increases prosperity, but also. What, I wonder what the cottages. No, I could just put villas in the sand. I mean, I'm not going to put them anywhere else. There we go. That should. Just put villas in the sand. Who cares? We can use the dirt and the grass for more important things. So, an amphitheater and a trading post. Now, what does that amphitheater and a trading post do? Come on. So an amphitheater increases happiness by 20, but decreases prosperity by 12. Interesting. And the trading post increases prosperity by 20, but reduces the culture. So I can put down a trading post here. And I can try to increase culture by putting a church.
हा इंटरेस्टिंग ओके होल्ड ऑन अ मोमेंट आई कैन यूज एन एफ थिएटर टू गिव मी ट्वेंटी प्लस होल्ड ऑन आई कैन सेक्रीफाइस प्रॉस्पेरिटी आई कैन सेक्रीफाइस हैप्पीनेस इन कल्चर फॉर बिट ऑफ प्रॉस्पेरिटी So I can put that there. Also, let me get another villa because I can afford to just use villas forever, basically. Also, why the fuck I put a fucking clinic there? No, go away. This is this is a nice selection of classical music, actually. All right, so each villa gives me twenty populations. I need one thousand populations. So one, two, three, four, five, five. Five. Hey, five extra. See, so now I need two more culture and more happiness. Huh. Interesting. So the tavern gives me. Wait, what? What the hell? The tavern gives me plus ten to that happiness, and minus six to the other happiness. So wait, it's a net positive plus four, isn't it? Apparently not. So let me just remove that. Weird. Apparently these things track stats differently. I was not aware that was a thing. It's a bit weird. Two, three, four, five. I now have one thousand population. Wait, hold on. Can I remove that? Oh, I see. Oh, so I don't actually have to. I don't actually have. To use farms, I can just use villas. And now I can get something that gives me happiness, but takes away prosperity. So put an amphitheater there. So I can get not not no no no. no. And that can get me something that gives me culture. Yes, I get it. It's very nice. All right, so I have happiness now. I need something that gives me a tiny bit of happiness. A tavern? No, that's not it. I need something that gives me a tiny bit of happiness. Doesn't really take. Okay, so I need. I can put that on amphitheater. Will that take away from my prosperity? Apparently, it will. This is a bit of a weird combination because I'm supposed to. These are different stats that are being tracked. So, am I supposed to track them myself? The game should help me track them. Let's put a church down here. Three. Four, five. Right, I can put down a villa here. See, I can just keep putting down villas for basic stat boosts. I mean, each ten, every ten villas gives me one prosperity and one culture. So, oh. But I need more food now, apparently. So I need a wheat farm. There we go. You have achieved a satisfactory. You have achieved a satisfactory rating in the eyes of the crown. All right. His His Royal Highness has recognized you with a distinguished rank of gentleman, with all the rights and something. Oh. I was not expecting a game to be this big. All right. So that was a tutorial area. This is Port Henry. Port Henry, your next charge is somewhat larger town with simple but balanced qualities. Time limit: 120 days. So I need 15 happiness, 15 prosperity, 
10 culture and 2,000 population. This is interesting. Water. Cannot build on water. It's sand. So that's a beach, basically. And then there's dirt everywhere. And then there's water. So can... Alright, so the amount of... Alright, so the... The amount of... Uh... The music is getting a bit annoying. The music is getting a tiny bit annoying. Right, so I have three wheat farms here. Get a lot of population to grow, so... Can I... Oh, I get it. So, the villas allow for population to grow... But they require wheat farms... To grow properly. So if I go into help and I go vegetable farm. Vegetable farms output the same amount of food as wheat farms, but have less of an impact on literacy. Place a multiple vegetable farms, which only get a bonus when built on grass and output less. Yes, but how do I unlock these things? I'm assuming maybe I, I need to wait for further up in the thing? Alright, so prosperity is influenced by literacy. Do wheat farms get a bonus? No, wheat farms output food, which is necessary for increasing the city. Can you stop with the music? It's getting very annoying at this point. God, menu. Apparently not. Apparently I have to deal with the music. Okay, I get the point, but... <sighs> you know, I'm a fan of classical music, but this just does, does not match at all the tone of the game that you're trying to present here. In the slightest. This isn't some rambunctious, fantastic, epic thing. It's just a particularly average city builder. Okay, okay, hold on. So... There's a problem here, because I'm supposed to be able to just see what the stats are. So, Because population has two substats, I swear to god, this music is getting on my nerves. And I put it down to very low. I put it down to very low volume, and it's getting on my nerves. Is it over? Thank you. So culture is influenced by, I'm assuming, religion? And whatever the hell that is. Prosperity is affected by literacy and production? Happiness is... I don't know, culture? and Not culture, it's like... Entertainment, health, and defense. These are different stats that apparently have different uh, impacts on things, and I'm not really sure how exactly they work out. Because the game doesn't really tell me. At all. Really, it doesn't tell me at all. It's ridiculous. And this is, this is bad, because... This is very bad, because... Villas, uh, population, depends entirely on how much food you can output. So, you can keep adding more villas, but they won't actually give you population if you don't have enough food. But the ratio isn't shown. And you're basically just sitting here wondering, well, how much population can I have now? The food is not indicated. The ratios aren't even indicated anywhere either. It's missing some very crucial bits of information, this game. I, mean, I, can, I guess I can just continuously put up villas and see how far I can go. But is that really what I should be doing? I mean, come on now. Does the help menu say anything? Clinic, church, cathedral... And how does that limit one per city? Yes, but how exactly do I get these? Is, are they just unlocked as I go through? Upper school. Oh, it's entertainment. Wheat farm. Output food, which is necessary for increasing the city's population. Wheat farms get a bonus when built on grass and output less. Alright. This is very nice and all, but... Alright, so I need some prosperity, which can either be done by... Uh, Literacy. Interesting. So, but that has an impact on entertainment. 
Alright, so I can add a school here on sand. Alright, and that's going to impact entertainment negatively. So I'm going to have minus six entertainment. But if I add a tavern, I'm going to have my... Yeah, but that's going to be a net negative. Oh, I see. I see. I see. What I can do is I can add a constabulary. And that's going to increase my happiness at the cost of culture. And what I can do is add a church. Huh. And a workshop increases things drastically by the cost of two th at the cost of basically twelve happiness. But the trading post increases my prosperity at the cost of twelve. Wait, hold on. Can I just keep putting up? I mean, can I go into the negatives of culture? Apparently I can. Uh, Alright, so I can increase my things with my prosperity a lot. But that, that's not... I'm not getting the things I should be getting because it says 20. I did not increase 20. There's some crucial information that's not being shown to me in this game and I'm not sure if I like it. I mean, there's there are things missing. I mean, such as for example, now I mean, I, I I now I know that I need more wheat. Can I add another villa? Will that increase? Apparently, it will. Yeah, and I can just keep going. But the thing is, like, I, rather than just showing happiness, prosperity, and culture. You should be showing the various things that make up the happiness, prosperity, and culture, and then allow for a graph with the three main things. Because as it is now, I ha am I supposed to just keep track of things mentally? I mean, this is in 1995. We have UI design now. I mean, we can do things. We can actually keep track of multiple things at the same time. I mean, it's not really hard. Not exactly what you would call, you know, difficult, but... I mean, and, and it's like, unless you really need some population now, is there really any uh, downside to using villas? Aside from having to place more of them? I mean, I guess you could use slums, but... And I guess they can increase happiness, but... I, I know what they're trying to do here, which is try to strike a balance, but the problem is it's really difficult to have a balance when you don't have access to the entire stock of information. Alright, so I can add a clinic, which increases my health by 20. Or at least supposedly increases my health by 20. Except it doesn't. Alright, so my workshop should increase my prosperity at the cost of my happiness. So I can, let's see, increase my, put a workshop there and put a uh, tavern But that, then, and then it's kind of exacerbated by the fact that things like taverns impact things within happiness. So it increases entertainment but reduces health. Which kind of makes it hard to try and comprehend just what exactly is going on in this entire thing. It's very difficult to keep track of these things. What the hell is going on? I find this to be very frustrating. If I had access to the various stats inside Happiness, Prosperity, and Culture, this would be a much, much simpler and much more enjoyable game. But as it stands, you're kind of grasping at straws, because unless you take 
unless you like. Actually, let me. Let's let, let's do let's do an experiment here. I want to see something. I'm getting myself a little piece of paper here, straight from my printer, and we're gonna run some math. Because that is exactly what you people want to see, isn't it? Me staring at a screen and doing some math. All right, got a pencil here. All right, let's do some math here. I'm sure you can hear the paper. All right, this is the first time in years that a game has forced me to to actually pick a piece of paper to do math. So let's see. You have the mask. You have the uh, red cross, except it's the green cross. You have the shield, which looks very much like the mask. So I'm gonna make it like with spikes and shit. Uh, we have a wrench. We have literacy. Whatever. I can't draw. Then we have the cross, and then we have whatever the hell that is. Looks like a leaf. Science. I don't know. All right, let's go here. So let's see, I have one school, so it should be plus 10 literacy and minus 6 entertainment. Alright. Then I have three slums, which is minus 4 shield, minus 4, minus 4. Then I have, what? what's that again? That's a church, so that's a plus 10 to culture and minus six to literacy. That's very, very stereotypical. Did, did you know that in the Middle Ages it was the monks that actually kept most of the written records that we have? The only reason the Dark Ages weren't darker was because of monks. I mean, that's just stereotypical, man. Come on now. You can do better than this. Christ almighty. All right, so I have that. I have school accounted for. I have a church accounted for. I have a constabulary. A constabulary is plus 15 shields. And minus nine, whatever the hell that is. Then I have two taverns, which is plus ten entertainment, plus ten entertainment, and minus six shields, minus six shields. Then I have two trading posts, which is plus twenty wrench, plus twenty wrench, then minus twelve, minus twelve. And then I have two workshops, which is plus 20 wrench, plus 20 wrench. And then you have minus 6, minus 6, minus 6, minus 6. And then I have to account for a clinic, which is plus 20 and minus 12. This is very boring. I don't like doing this. Alright, so let's account for everything, shall we? Entertainment is... 10, 20, minus, uh, 20 minus 18, so that's 2 plus 2. Then you have 20 minus 6, which is four, 14 minus 6 equals 8. I think I can do this right. Wait a second. 8 plus 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah, 20. That's plus 8. And then you have shields, which is, alright, 4 times 3 equals 12, uh, 6 times 2 equals 12. I'm, I'm sure this is riveting commentary, by the way. I'm sure you're absolutely loving me making fucking calculations by fucking hand. So that's a 12 plus 12 equals 24, so 15 minus 24, 24 minus 15, oh dear lord in heaven above, that's 9, so that's minus 9. So 2 plus 8 equals 10, Minus 9 equals 1. I'm pretty sure that's not what's there. I'm pretty sure my happiness is minus 2. Pretty sure my happiness is minus 2. Let's go for prosperity, shall we? So, my prosperity, apparently at least, is at plus 20. Is it apparently 1, 2, 3, 4? So it's plus 80 from the wrenches and plus four from literacy. So it's, I'm supposed to be at 84 prosperity. What? 84. 
that. Wait, what reduces my prosperity by six? There's a church. Oh wait, I forgot to account for the farms. Oh right. So the farms is four. Th it's th six farms. So six times five equals thirty. So eighty-four minus thirty equals fifty-four. So I'm supposed to be at fifty-four prosperity? No, no, I'm not at fifty-four prosperity. And then let's look at culture. I'm supposed to be at a minus two for my religion, and minus. So. I have literally nothing but net minuses for my culture, and for whatever reason, I'm still at a positive. What? Hold on. 12, 24, 24 min plus 9, let's see, uh, Jesus fucking Christ, it was 35. It was 35, so minus 37. So I'm at minus 37 for my culture. Oh, dear God. But my villas increase it by zero point. No, it's not enough to offset things. So I don't know. Is the game feeding me wrong information? Is the game hiding calculations that I'm not really, don't really have access to? I don't know. I don't very much like this game in the slightest because the, the, the tutorial didn't really teach me anything. The UI is very, very, very simplistic, and it's not much to talk about, to be very honest. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a bunch of... It's a simplified version of Civ's Hexagon Grid, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Hexagon Grid. Not a lot of choices for buildings, no indication as to whether or not you can increase the buildings or upgrade the buildings or do anything, really. And, for what, and not only does it not show you the individual values for the various values that increase the various or decrease the various things, it doesn't show you ratios that you need to know, like population to food, or it doesn't show you what the values for the things are. It's hiding a lot of information, and it apparently doesn't even do the calculations that you can do, because I'm supposed to be at one happiness, I'm supposed to be at something like 54 prosperity, and that's supposed to be something like minus 37 culture. And yet, that, and yet the closest value I have is the plus one for happiness. Which is a minus two. And the music is annoying as hell, it's not proper for the type of game that we're doing, and even with very, very low on volume, it's still very distracting. I don't know, I don't think I like this game. This is very much disappointing. I, I'm sorry for the person who did this, but I can't really lie. I don't think I like this. Unless I'm massively missing something, I don't think I am. There's nothing really here about ratios. It talks about berry farms and shit. It don't have them. Talks about museums. We don't have these plazas. Oh, it's beauty. Oh, it's beauty. I get it. But there's something wrong. Either the game is bugging out, or I'm just not getting correct information here. It kind of feels like I'm just supposed to go around and click random buildings until eventually I get things right. And that should not be the case for any game, at all. Or I could just spam villas and get half the job done. I don't know, I'm not sure, I don't think I like this game. I really don't. It's very weird, it's not that well designed and implemented. It's very simplistic, very simple. It's not even simple, it's simplistic, which is a completely different thing. And it's either bugging out, or it's feeding me incorrect information, or it's hiding information from me. Neither of those are good choices. And the music is still annoying me. I put it on low volume, I reduce the volume in the game, and it's still very loud. And the music is not in any way, any way proper for the type of game that this is. Overall, not an enjoyable experience. Not really. I apologize for bringing this to you. I gotta play Factorio. Infinitely more fun than this. Again, I don't want to shit on people's work, but no, I, I got to call it like I see it. I mean, it's this very simplistic game that's either feeding me incorrect information or hiding information from me. Not exactly what I would call fun. I've had a lot more fun with games that were far simpler than this, like Kaisaria, which I pretty much pointed out that wasn't Kaisar IA. I don't know. The, the, see, the, the, the sequel, the spiritual successor to Caesar 4, Kaiser 4, 
I pretty much pointed out that it was essentially a 1990s game stuck in uh, 2010s, but even that was funner than this. Not much to do here. I feel no need or want to continue to play this. Apology, developer. I just don't like your game. Sorry about that. Well, I guess that's it for today. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys and gals have a better, had a better time than I did. As always, I'm open to suggestions in the comments section below. And until next time we meet, I will see you all. Doodles.